Neurogenic bowel dysfunction is something we have to take seriously. We're used to thinking about bladder dysfunction and taking that very seriously because we know that that can shorten life. Bowel dysfunction won't necessarily do that, but it grossly impairs quality of life. Your patients report that more than mobility issues, more than sexual function, more than bladder function, bowel function is a thing that can often really blight quality of life, can reduce the ability to socialize, to be intimate, um, to function normally at work. That's what really limits life. And what's really important to understand is that there is a range of treatments we can offer patients. Of course, it begins with lifestyle and sometimes laxatives or antidiarrheals. That's essential. That'll help about a third of our patients. There'll be two thirds who are then left thinking there's nothing else they can do, but there are things we can do. And the logical ne next step, if somebody doesn't respond to those simpler therapies, is to consider transanal irrigation. This essentially is a form of therapy where patients can be trained to self-catheterize with a single-use catheter their rectum, and by so doing, irrigate, and by so doing, clear out almost the entire left colon in good responders. And what does that do? That has the effect of making patients, some patients, independent of their carer. It certainly reduces the amount of time spent on toileting, because it can be done every other day usually. It reduces the number of incontinent episodes. It reduces the number of patients who need or get infections and need antibiotics for it. And that's quite a big deal for quality of life. Not everyone's a responder, of course, to anything. And that it still leaves then a certain number of patients, a smaller number, who will then go on to further therapies. And that's the point about this. There are a range of therapies available to us, from the lifestyle ones, to laxatives, to irrigation, and beyond that we may need to consider nerve stimulation therapies or even surgical ones. But there are essentially a whole menu of options available to us. We work our way through the courses until we get to the point where our patients are satisfied and then we can cease therapy.